Hi, my name is Gabe Torres. Today, I'd like to talk to you about some books. Um, this is the first episode of Gabe's new review show, in which I will be reviewing books, movies, and albums. So, today we're talking about The Frolic of the Beasts by Yukio Mishima. I liked it. Mishima, Mishima. Hmm. Mishima. Yukio, if you will. I think we're close enough. I've read enough of his books that we're close enough for that. I'm a big fan. Um, the last thing I read was The Sound of Waves. I do think he surpassed this and that. I do believe this book is after The Sound of Waves, anyway. Um, very good book. The basic plot consists of this guy working for another guy. And he falls in love with the guy's wife. And then he whacks the guy in the head with a wrench, which the guy kind of deserved. He was unbearable as a person. So, I don't know. It's kind of strange how much time the guy spends living with them, despite the fact that he, like, mentally disabled him in the first place. But it's a really good book. A lot of sexual tension there. Um, I do think the two characters, it feels like you could sort of push them together a little bit quickly. Um, Yuko and... Oh, I forgot the... Koji. His name's Koji. Yuko and Koji. Um, I think Yukio pushed them together a little bit quickly. I think more... It could have taken longer to put them together. And... I think this... Most of the story is told from Koji's perspective. But once, um... Oh my god, what's his name? Ichi. No, that's not true. The the first husband. Man. I read this book a couple months ago. Don't blame me. Give me a second. Ipe. Okay. I think Ipe, um, like, once he's disabled and he's, he's being, like, tortured by Koji just by the fact that he's, like, stealing his wife from him, I think a lot more tension could have been built with that. I think them showing... I think Yukio... Could have done a good move by sort of transitioning the story to be more from Ipe's perspective, move away from Koji's, um, because I think that that second half of the book, Ipe, despite the fact he does less as a character, um, all of his like actions are in the first half of the book, um, you know, before he gets disabled, um, he become he's far more important in that second half, just because he's not taking actions anymore. It's his his existence that causes so much conflict, for you know. Koji and Yuko's relationship. Um, the book is about 166 pages. Um, a quick read. I read this over a couple of weeks. Um, I read it during AP test season, so I was a little bit, a little bit preoccupied, but decently quick. I read a couple, um, book reports on it, but for AP Lang when I had to do assignments on books. But, Overall, I liked it. Rating. I actually do have a rating system, and it's somewhere on my bookshelf, but I came ill-prepared, and I don't know what my rating was. I'm guessing it might have been a four, three and a half. A little boring at times. I do think Yukio is an incredibly masterful writer, and I really do like this translation. Um, this trend, this edition... was let's see andrew claire he did the translation for this one he's not the only person who did, did the who did the translation for the copy of the sound of waves which i read before this and i do think the it's the imagery is much better especially considering the fact that it's from a japanese author so andrew claire he did a very good job um i said um a little bit too many times but I'm very, I'm very much a big fan of this book. I love Yukio Mishima, Mishima, Yukio, if you will. So, four out of five, that's a very good rating. If I give a book a five stars, that means it's one of my favorite books. Yukio is one of my top three favorite authors, so. Yeah. All right. Okay. Four out of five, good book. Read it. It's a quick read. Um, a little boring towards the middle. But it's just, it's good.
Don't worry. 